My birthday is December 4th, 2006. When I was around the age of nine, I made the decision to basically copy and paste an episode of Live and Maddie and make the day I was born my lucky number. That would mean four is my lucky number. Two plus zero plus two plus zero equals four. So by that logic, 2020 was my lucky year. That's not something you'd ever think you'd hear anyone say, right? I really never thought I'd say it either. But there may be some truth to that statement. Hi, my name is Lena Reja. I'm a 14-year-old eighth grader here at the Western Academy of Beijing. I moved here to China and came to WAP in August of 2012. This summer, in either June or July of 2021, I'm going to be leaving China and moving back to the US going to have to leave the place I've called home for nine years and move back to my childhood home. Throughout my time in Beijing, I made the grave mistake of wasting the first eight years wanting to leave. There were times when I wanted to leave a little bit less than usual, sometimes a little bit more than usual, but I consistently just could not wait to get back. Only at the beginning of last semester did I realize how much I was going to miss Beijing. When I leave this stage, all I ask is that each and every one of you remember something. Hold on to what you have while you have it, and don't take things for granted, because you truly never know what could happen. I'd like to start off with a story. Not exactly a fun childhood story, though. I'd like to tell you about how I first found out we were leaving. My dad works for the World Bank, and when we first came here, we were told we could move back after just three years. And around six years after that, not only were we still here, but I personally had no idea what was going to happen. Now, I can't seem to recall if this was just my general lack of interest in what my family says, or if they actually never said anything, but regardless, I was completely in the dark. During our seventh year, I was in sixth grade. That was when the talk about leaving actually started. First, we were told that we might be leaving at the end of this year. And then it morphed into, OK, so we might leave at the end of next year, until it finally became, OK, I actually don't know when we're leaving. And that was just sixth grade. It wasn't until seventh grade that my dad said that we would actually be leaving. I remember being at the dinner table when my dad broke the news. When I tell you I jumped for joy, I'm barely even kidding. <laughs> finally, right? I can finally go back to the US. I mean, I used to love the US. Summer break was always so fun there, going back to the place I grew up in. Finally, I can return. That was around the beginning of seventh grade. Just as a reminder, my seventh grade year was 2019 to 2020. So I basically spent the second half of 2019 super excited to finally move back at the end of the school year. And then 2020 came. When school shut down, I honestly didn't know what to make of it. This isn't going to be a talk about my online learning experience, which, like most of you, was not a pleasant one. I will say, however, the misery of online learning only fanned the flame of my desire to return to the US. Fast forward to around June. At that point, I was pretty sure our plans for, le for leaving were going to be postponed. Wasn't sure how long, but I knew I'd be here for at least half of eighth grade. June was not only an interesting month for me, but it was an important one. Because June was the month that my image of the perfect country I couldn't wait to move back to was shattered. June was the month that started the Black Lives Matter movement. That was one of the first times I took a good look at the country I used to constantly profess my love for, the country I couldn't wait to finally live in, the country I was obsessed with. I have one vivid memory of just pacing around my room, thinking about the whole movement and looking at the harsh reality of the country I was soon moving to. And then, almost out of nowhere, I laid on my bed and I started crying, because it was just a lot to take in. I didn't come here to dunk on an entire country that I happened to have a passport from. But that was one of the first times that I realized 
the U.S. is not a perfect country, and that was the day I actually looked inside and asked myself, "Do I really want to move back so badly?" Okay, hold on. I thought 2020 was my lucky year, right? Well, it actually kind of was. Now, by 2020, I honestly mean just the last four months of 2020. Don't get me wrong; a lot of 2020 was considerably bad, and I know it was a lot worse for a lot of people. But 2020 was the year I finally realized that I'm really going to miss Beijing. I'm really going to miss my friends. My school, my home, my lifestyle, the beautiful culture, and I really don't know how I'm going to start over. The thing is, I spent the last few months trying to figure out if I'm going to have to start over or go back to the life I used to live. Obviously, I'm not going to go back to taking ballet and tap and somehow learning French, Arabic, and Spanish in preschool. However. I've become a completely different person since I came. That's probably pretty obvious since I came when I was five and I barely had a personality. But how am I going to fit in with anyone? How am I going to truly adapt to the U.S.? That's not what this speech is about, though. If I wanted to freak out about moving, I would just go complain to one of my friends. Which has become quite the coping mechanism over the last few months. The speech is about leaving and making sure you hold on to what you have while you have it. In the last few months, I've made friends that I dream of having as lifelong friends. In the last few months, I've tried new things and taken up challenges like TEDx, and I've come to liking every aspect of going to WAP, this great school, and not just the. Two subjects I used to really like. In the last few months, I've experienced some of the best times of my life, and that's all thanks to Beijing, the place I call home. I only have a few months left, and I plan to make the most of it. Now, everyone watching this right now, I want you to think of one thing.、It、could be a friendship, relationship, hobby, anything. One thing in your life that you'd truly be lost without. And、after you leave this event, just remember why that thing is so important to you. Life is unpredictable; things change, and sometimes we have to adapt in ways we don't always want to. But if we can remember the little things in our life that make it the way it is, that make our lives happy, that make our lives worth living, we'll all be okay. Because at the end of the day, that's all we have, right? Thank you.